Pixel Torque Media. Express yourself by journaling. Second slide. Journaling provides proof of your progress. Writing down one sentence about what went well today gives you something powerful to look at when you're feeling down. When you have a bad day, it can be easy to forget how much progress you have made. But with a journal, it's easier to keep a sense of perspective. One glance at your previous entries and you have proof of how much you have grown over the months and years. Reading your old journal entries is a bit like reading a great book for a second time. You pick up on new sentences and see the past in a different way. Only this time, you are rereading the story of your life. Written by James Clear. Third slide. Health benefits of journaling, based on science. Let's start with one of the main three pillars of life, health. It may seem hard to believe that writing a journal improves your health, but it's true. If you kept a diary under your mattress as a teenager, you may remember how nice it felt to liberate all of your emotions on a piece of paper. Well, science now shows there is something to it. What does journaling do to your brain? It's on a piece of paper. Well, science now shows there is something to it. Let's start this journey with our well-being headquarters, the brain. How does journaling impact the brain? An experimental study conducted at Michigan State University revealed that expressive writing can help our brain cool down in the state of worrying. On a neurological level, being worried is like you're constantly multitasking. You're trying to focus on one thing, but a portion of your cognitive efforts are always wasted on suppressing those worries, making it hard to stay fully present. This experiment was conducted with college students suffering from anxiety. They were split into two groups and tasked with a flanker test that measured their response speed and accuracy. Before approaching the task. Fourth slide. One group had an eight-minute session of expressive writing about their deepest emotions, while the others journaled about their daily activities. Both groups performed equally well on speed and accuracy tests, however, the expressive writing group was more efficient and used fewer brain resources, as measured with EEG, detecting electrical activity in your brain. The study showed that the act of expressive writing can clear your mind's worries and free up resources in your brain that could be put to use on other tasks. Another study, conducted by UCLA leading experts, measured people's brain activity during journal therapy. They discovered that written words can make an experience of trauma less intense. For example, when participants looked at an angry face image, their amygdala, the brain's emotional region, activity increased. However, once they began associating words with images, their emotional reaction reduced greatly. Professor and researcher Matthew D. Lieberman from UCLA explained that putting feelings into words is like hitting a brake when you see a yellow light. Every journaling session lowers your brain's reactions, making them less intense, and allows your feelings to become more elaborate. Another important effect of journaling on the brain is memory improvement, but we will tackle that one in a later section. By intelligent change. Fifth slide. Benefits of journaling for the immune system. Now that you know that expressive writing impacts our nervous system, you can already make the assumption that it affects all of our functions, directly or indirectly, including the immune system. But, how does this happen? After conducting a series of research about journaling, the famous psychologist James Pennybaker concluded that journaling can help strengthen our immune system. He believes that journaling works as a stress relief tool, by reducing the impact of stressors on our immune system cells. It's not only that expressive writing lowers our chances of getting ill, but it also increases the chances of fighting a slew of serious diseases. Some of them are rheumatoid arthritis, asthma, and cancer. The health benefits of journaling are even visible in quicker postoperative recoveries and faster healing of wounds among seniors by intelligent change. Sixth slide. If this is not enough to convince you to pick up the pen and paper or download a journal app, a 2005 study showed that writing about traumatic events, distress, and overall feelings can lower our chances of getting sick, while journaling 15 to 20 minutes per day, over a four-month period, is enough to lower blood pressure and achieve better liver functionality. All these research results show us that there are significant health benefits of journaling. Expressive writing can help enhance our immune system and positively impact our brain. However, the effect is certainly indirect. 
there is something that happens in between. That something is the mental health effects of journaling by intelligent change. Seventh slide. Benefits of journaling for mental health. The above experiments, whilst making claims of physical health benefits, show us the power that mental health has on our whole system. Maybe those that preached it's all in your head have a point. Whilst this doesn't mean that people's problems are imaginary, it does put emphasis on the importance of resolving issues within and escaping the dungeon of our own minds. If you're faced with a math problem, would you rather solve it on paper or in your head? We assume it's easier to see a solution after writing it down. Why would some of our mental problems be any different? The exact mechanism by which expressive writing works is still unknown. People usually think that it's the cathartic effect that's beneficial, however, many psychologists agree that catharsis is not enough. The mechanisms that are considered as beneficial are Emotional confrontation, confronting our inhibited emotions can help reduce stress and tensions, cognitive processing, journaling about events and emotions helps us create a coherent narrative about them, resulting in a better adaptation and multiperspectivism, repeated sessions, journaling on a daily basis can help us overcome negative emotional responses, as we become more and more able to reflect on our lives from various perspectives. Simply put, when you keep a journal you improve your emotional intelligence. That means gaining the ability to name, elaborate, manage, and control your emotions, as well as empathize with others. Consequently, your way of thinking becomes much clearer, your decisions become more constructive, and you feel less nervous and stressed out. All this makes you a healthier person. By intelligent change. Eighth slide. So far, science has shown that the benefits of journaling are visible in a many mental illnesses such as depression, anxiety, PTSD, body image distortions, suicidality, as well as in some temporary conditions like sadness over a breakup, being a victim of a natural disaster, or experiencing bereavement. Here are some tips on how you can start journaling. Try to write every day and make it easy. Keep a pen and paper handy at all times. Write whatever feels right. Remember, it's your private place to discuss whatever you want. There is no right or wrong. Look at your writing time as personal relaxation time when you wind down and de-stress. Ninth slide. When you write in a journal, provide an opportunity for positive self-talk and identify negative thoughts and behaviors. Focus on your inner voice and find a soothing and relaxing place inside yourself. Track any symptoms day to day, recognize triggers and learn how to control them. Know that you are doing something good for your mind and body. So far, we've mostly covered how journaling can help us release what's negative within us so we can become healthier, but let's not forget that this practice can be focused on positive experiences as well. By intelligent change. Tenth slide. Positive moments are equally worth our attention in journaling time, if not even more. There is one type of journaling we especially appreciate that is focused solely on the positive things in life, and it's called gratitude journaling. Science has shown that journaling can only bring you good things, improvements to your mental and physical health, memory, relationships, and productivity. What's most important, it doesn't cost anything. All you need is a notebook and pen, or a journal app, and some motivation by intelligent change. The thank you cycle. Grateful. Much appreciated. Thank you for taking time to support my channel. Your support means the world.